We've got Kip on the phone. Kip. Hey. Kip, you have my undivided attention. Brother. How are you, Kip? What? Oh, there we go. Uh, I'm doing all right. How are you? You're doing all right. I'm good. I'm going to switch back over. Level two. I've got a 120 second time limit. Let's see what happens. All right. Uh, all right. I'll just ask my question. Let's do right it. Up then. Uh, all right. Uh, has there ever been a time where you've gotten so far caught up in a lie that you can't get out of it? Oh, I'm sure when I was young, you know, when you're a little kid, you, you know, you're like, did you eat all the ice cream? No. Well, what happened? Well, I, someone must have came in and, and I don't, maybe I, I saw, you know, my cousin was here earlier. You know, it's like when you're a kid, you do dumb shit and I'm sure that happens, but fuck man, I cannot remember any time recently doing that yeah, most of that stuff kind of happens in your teenage years too i mean mostly if you're trying to like screw with someone yeah i remember like the thing that sucks about knowing a secret for me as we found out on the poorly played stream a couple weeks ago when i kind of let the cat out of the bag about a dear sweet friend of mine coming to game days before he got a chance to make the announcement uh it's like Someone will tell you, like, oh, hey, I'm planning this thing, but don't tell them. And then that person will come to you and go, like, hey, someone, da 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 what's going on? And you got to, like, make up a lie to try to cover for, like, oh, this surprise party that's happening. Or something mm -hmm. like, oh, shit, no one's supposed to know that they're coming, but I do, and I got to play dumb. I hate that shit. I hate being put into that fucking position. I'm not trying to be malicious about it, though. Because I always good. end up fucking it up. No, 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 no. I, I know you're not asking. No. I don't understand. Uh, I know you're not trying to be malicious towards me. I'm just saying, usually when that happens, that's the only time I have to, like, try to scramble to lie about something. It's, like, for someone's benefit, like a surprise party or, what you know, what have you. Mm-hmm. Other than that, I no, I, it just hasn't happened to me lately. Do you have a, a story of your own where you got I don't caught? I you want me to tell it. I have... You got I caught... I don't think I've been the one who's done it. It's mostly my friends, but I do have, well, we did have Facebook back in high school. I'm, I I was in the background when they were doing this, but they created a Facebook profile okay. and started adding all of our friends. What um, guy hasn't made a fake Facebook profile of a hot girl? I don't know. I, go ahead. Yeah, there's, there's, there's a lot of reasons that they did it, but this is one of them. And we added all of our, uh, our classmates and just started asking them like really weird and surreal questions but they were totally fine with it because hey it was a hot girl um, uh, yeah one of them that we knew uh they asked him to meet her in the forest somewhere so that they could like screw on a rock or something like come to the cafeteria we'll bang and eat kind of situation yeah basically um oh, and yeah he, he totally agreed to it but then they were like well <laughs> yeah. wait, this is this is a little bit too much, so they went they went farther, and they just started saying, "Hey, would you mind if I brought this strap up with me? It's what I'm into." And then oh, I so thought you... about it Ooh. for like an hour, and then he came back and said, "Okay, I've thought about it, and yes, I will totally do that. I will take they, the strap they... on in my body, provided that you are the one inserting it into me. Is that what the guy agreed to?" Yes, essentially, yeah. It's got to be he one hell of a one hell of a woman to to make you go that direction. I don't know. Although maybe maybe it's not a big deal for some guys. Looking back on it now, I feel bad for that guy. He doesn't know that we know, but I but I do. I know now. <laughs> oh, that's you guys never revealed that this is a fake thing. I, don't, I still don't think he knows. And oh, that getting that's probably and for the realized. better. That's probably for the better for everyone. <laughs> Because yeah, he that, probably that... wouldn't want you guys to know. Ah, I guess he's blissfully ignorant still. Yeah, I saw him uh, getting engaged the other day, and that's all I can think about now. Well, maybe so, he's, a, you know, you know, different strokes for different folks. It's all a spectrum. It was man. high school, and I did not do it, so. And check don't knock it till point. you didn't what you've you've never taken a foreign object. Uh, not yet. Don't knock it till you try it, there, Kip. I'm, right, I'm, then. you know, try it. Well, I don't, I'm not saying try it with me. I'm just saying, it sounds like maybe the right woman comes along. She'll do a little convincing. Yeah, you know. She could I'm be gentle. She could be gentle. Else. You don't know. 
I don't. Kip, that's the kind of thing that maybe kids get like in trouble for nowadays. But back in the day, it was all new and new and unique. Yeah, back in the day, five years ago. Back in the day, five years ago. Lots of fucking changed in five years, man. Yeah, surprisingly. Motherfucking cable companies are ringing Netflix by the neck for more bandwidth, all right? That shit didn't exist five years ago, right? No, I guess not. Me I mean, and Rocco, we were, talking about, we were talking about net neutrality earlier, and we were getting furious. I got all upset. What kind of uh, service provider do you have right now? Well, I think right now we're on uh, Cox... You know? Cox. Yeah. Oh, can I, I don't yeah. know, but all right, I'll take your word and, for uh, it. And but back at home, I'm on that AT and T tip, and God, I wish uh -huh. there was a fucking other option. You know, Rocco described the cable companies as the mafia, and you you're kind of yeah, like with the phone companies too. You're kind of tied in there. They are the mafia, Rocco. It's AT and T is the only option I have. Yep. I gotta go to the Fratellis, yep. and I got no <laughs> other recourse. <laughs> It's the same thing with Comcast Because the Gambinos here. aren't let into the Fratelli's territory. You see what I'm saying? I can eat a peach for hours. It's just bullshit. just got to hope that Google comes into town soon and kicks them out, you know? I'm hoping, but I've heard Google is like, is like the government organizing all of the mobs and letting them practice their criminal behavior the under the cons. watchful eye of the police. The head honcho or something. I've heard that they're the hand that feeds. I've heard that they're the evil empire themselves. Oh they're just God, very I good at mass. Not. I don't know what to believe these days. I hear Google's bad. I, I, Rocco, I heard Apple was bad. Should I throw my phone away? Well, they're, they're the Adolf Hitler of electronics. I can't eat a peach. Well, I don't know what don't to do anymore. Anybody. I don't know what to do anymore. It's all too frightening and it's all too confusing. I get on internet and Twitter. I hear all the articles. Everyone's pissed off at video games. I just, look at how cute these three little girls are. It's just fun to play. That's all I think about is play the games, escape from my real life for fucking two or three hours a week, and enjoy it. And well, the government might be watching now. You gotta ah, watch out. Ah, shit! What are we gonna Dude. do, Kip? Don't know. Kip, right now, I want to reach out and I want to send a message to all of the viewers and listeners at home. You can get through this. Just sit down, put that controller in your hand, like me and Kip are doing. Just focus on the fun. It's not so important, it's just fun, guys. It's just games. Right? Is that the right touching. message I, we're sending, Kip? That. We're sending yeah, the right yeah. message? Well, Kip, you're I, a great I caller. So. And Thanks. I love that you call in and you support the show every week. Thank you. Oh, I hope I get to that uh, uh, new Blu-ray. By the way, I'm I'm waiting, but that are you? Like... Did you pre-order? Are you gonna wait? No, I'm gonna wait until the holiday season. Maybe amateur uh, move. Someone. Amateur yeah. move, oh, there, Kip. Man. Fuck you. Amateur move, Kip. Didn't you hear the warning at the top of the show, Rocco? Ah, can you uh, can you recap that warning about the uh, selling out of the pre-ordered? Uh... Yeah, like three fourths of them are gone. So, if you want it, don't pull a kip here. He ain't gonna do shit. He ain't gonna do shit. He ain't gonna pre-order. But I know what you're hoping for. Second printing, you know what? Maybe if it does well enough, but no guarantees. Uh, Alright, I'll have to make this decision soon, but, kip, you know. Kip, I know, I know that you'll make the right one. It's in your hands. You got priorities. Do right, the right thing, kip. Happens. Kip, do the right thing. Alright, have a good night. <laughs> good night, Kip. We sure do love you. We'll see you next time. Alright.